Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a quick look at the integral of the square root of x on 1 minus x cubed with respect to x. Okay, so let's dive right in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to rewrite this problem real quick as square root of x over the square root of 1 minus x cubed, just to kind of neaten that up a little bit. And so still dx. Next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to use a u substitution. So I'm going to say let u equal to x to the power of 3 on 2. And there's a special reason why I'm doing that that I'm sure you'll see in a moment. So that means that we will have du dx is now going to be equal to 3 on 2, x to the power of 1 on 2. Okay, so let's quickly rearrange that for dx. And we can say that dx is equal to 2 du on 3, and x to the half is just square root of x. Okay, let's quickly rewrite our problem now, and let's see what that becomes. So now we have the integral of, well, square root of x over square root of 1 minus, well, I had said that u is equal to x to the power of 3 on 2, so this will now become simply u squared. And now rewriting dx in these terms here, we'll then be multiplying this all by 2 on 3, square root x, and du. Okay, so we see that that square root x will cancel out there, and we can bring that 2 thirds out the front. So now our problem simply becomes the integral of 1 over square root 1 minus u squared du with 2 thirds out the front there. So you may just recognize the answer at this point, but if you don't, I'll take it a bit slowly through this section here. So now we're going to use a trigonometric substitution, and I might make another video regarding how we know which trig function to choose. Uh, but for this one, we're going to use u is equal to sine of theta. Okay, so really quick, let's just figure out well, what would du d theta be? Well, du d theta, so that will just become cos theta. And in fact, what is theta actually equal to? So all we need to do is solve this equation for theta, so just take the inverse sine of both sides of that equation there, and we see that theta is equal to sine inverse of u. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's have a quick look back at what we've written over here. So I've said that u is equal to sine theta, so now that means I can rewrite my problem out as, again, 2 thirds integral 1 over square root 1 minus sine squared theta du. And 1 minus sine squared theta, well, that goes back to our very, very famous trigonometric identity of cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So you see, if I subtracted sine squared theta across both sides, then we get cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. And that's exactly what we see here. Okay, so now, again, we'll rewrite our problem as, so again, 2 thirds integral 1 over square root of cos squared theta. And du, we'll now rewrite that as cos theta d theta. And so square root of cos squared theta, well, that's simply going to become cos theta. And so now we see cos theta on top and bottom. So those will cancel out. And in fact, our problem now just becomes 2 third times the integral of 1 d theta. Integrating that, of course, we just get uh, 2 thirds theta. And then we remember, well, theta, what was that equal to? Sine inverse of u. So we can say that this is now equal to 2 on 3, sine inverse of u, and then of obviously, plus some constant term here, since this is an indefinite integral. And now what was u equal to? Way back at the start, we said u was equal to x to the power of 3 on 2. Okay, and so now our final answer simply becomes 2 thirds sine inverse of x to the power of 3 on 2 plus c, some constant there. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then please leave a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you have any recommendations for problems that you would like to see, or perhaps other methods that you would have attacked this problem with, then please let me know down in the comments. As always, I hope you have a great day and stay curious.